Hey guys, in my previous video I showed you how you can use VixPay to collect custom payments from users. In this video I'm going to show you how you can let the user download a specific media file from the Wix Media Manager once the payment has gone through. So if you watch my previous video or if you did not watch my previous video I'm going to link that video in the description below. Go watch it. And basically we stopped over here so this part was not present in the previous video now after the payment is processed we're gonna allow the user to download a specific file which is stored in the database so in the previous video we created a database called payments but there was one column missing which we added for this video and the column name was media of type image you can change it to a different uh, media file type as well and what we want to do is we want to collect payment for this uh, product and then after that we want to let the user download this media file so we'll create create another uh, backend file called media.jsw which basically queries the payments database again using the unique code that the user has entered and this time it retrieves a download URL for the Wix media item stored in the Wix database. And along with the download URL, we make sure that that particular URL that is generated expires within one minute. So we want the user to immediately download that file. After that, we want to invalidate that, file, uh, that download URL so that it's not abused. And on the front end, once the payment is collected, we change the label of the button to let the user know that we have initiated the download. And we send the code again as we did in the initial process when we create a payment. And then we redirect the user to the download URL. Now, let's go ahead and try this on our live site. So, the code that is present the unique code so this will make sense if you watch my previous video I've explained everything over here so we enter the code we click on process and you will see this window which means Wixpay has been initiated but as I explained in my previous video uh, this website doesn't have a premium plan and payment select payment acceptance has not been set up on this website so you get this video instead but once I click on got it, it's going to initiate the download process. And there you go. The download is successful like this. Now you just want to do one thing in the live environment is you need to change. You don't, you don't actually initiate the download as soon as uh, the uh, window is closed. You actually check for the payment status. So if payment status is equal to successful just gonna check the correct spelling of successful on the API so it was the same then we want to let the user download this file if the success uh, if the payment is not successful you need to handle the error based on response the status response so the status can be pending fail whatever you need to cater for a response for each of it so this is basically how you would do that